Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company My First Wig. And today I'm going to be showcasing another straight out of the box look. This is what the box looks like. And also this unit does come in this nice little drawstring bag. They also did include a wig cap and you can purchase this kit off the website. Now the unit I'm going to be showing you guys today is the Raven Elegant Bob Lace Front Wig. This one does come with your two combs on the side, a comb in the back, your adjustable strap, and you also have the elastic band. This is a cap size one that I am rocking and it fits me really well. I do have to go in and adjust my straps in the back and also tighten up that elastic band for a more snug fit, but I don't have any problems with their caps feeling too big at all. So make sure that you know your correct cap size when you are choosing your unit. I did have a little bit of hairs underneath the lace that was in my way, but you do get a pre-plugged hairline and you also get those pre-bleach knots. Take my wax stick and go around the hairline just to kind of smooth everything out. And then I'm also gonna take this by the parting space area. Now this is a 13 by six lace front wig, so you get plenty of parting space. This does come as a right side part, but you can move this to the middle or you can move it to the left. So as you can see, the top of the unit does lay down really nice and flat, but there's not a lot of density up there, so you don't have to worry about it coming off too bulky, but it's also not going to come off looking super thin either. So I'm just gonna take my flat iron and go around this unit and just kind of lightly bump those ends. This is the Yaki texture, and they also offer the silky texture online. It's just really up to you. I'm just really a big fan of the Yaki. Always get a lot of questions about if this is the Malaysian or the Indian hair, this one is the Malaysian option. Then have to go in a little bit on the sides by my ear and cut off some of that lace. And I'm just gonna work on cutting the rest of the lace off. You guys see that this lace is going to blend in very well even when you cut it off. Like, ooh wee, look how well that's already looking without any type of adhesive. So if you're wondering if you can wear this ghoulish, you surely can. Taking a little bit of my Fix It Hole spray, I'm gonna go around the hairline. This spray definitely gets the job done, but it's not a really, really strong hole, but strong enough to get you through the day if you need be. Now it's really hot outside, so you wanna be really careful about what type of adhesive you pick and choose for the day. So I'm gonna tie this around my hairline, and this is my elastic band. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and you can see how good that did melt down. I'm gonna be putting a little bit of my Ruby Kisses powder into the frontal area and also in the parting space just to kind of lighten it up a bit. Now, I did notice like a spot that looked a little bit wide, so I'm gonna take my eyeliner and just kind of brush that in just to kind of cover that up some. I think that's just from bleaching the knots a little bit might have got on the hair. And then I'm gonna take my hot comb and just kind of push some of that back because of course, a little bit of that spray did get on the unit. There are a few areas I did have to go back over with my flat iron just because of that clip. But everything is coming together so far. I'm gonna add in a little bit of my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Powder just to kind of control those little flyaways and shorter hairs. I don't want any frizziness going on. Other products that I am using today can be found down below in the description area on my Amazon storefront. This is the final result of this unit. And once again, I have the 12 inch length. They do start off at 10 inches and then the longest length is 16, but I like the way that this one is hitting. Look at the back for 130%. I feel like this looks really good. And for them to have already bleached the knots and it looks like scalp, and they already pre plucked the hairline, you really can't go wrong with it. But make sure you guys stay tuned after this. You can hear my final thoughts on this unit. I recently reviewed another Bob unit from the same company in the 10 inch length. And I want to come and show you guys what the 12 inch looks like. 
me personally i like both of them they both are going to give you different looks i don't think i would go longer than this one just because when i think of bobs i think of it either hitting right here or just a little bit higher so this is actually perfect also it has a really good amount of density even when i turn around to the back when i ran my y2 comb through it you are definitely not going to have to worry about any type of track showing even with the wind blowing outside um, it's really hot out so some people still want to rock wigs but they definitely want some shorter options so I wanted to come and give you guys another option. I really do like the yakky texture from this company just because it looks so realistic and it also mimics a fresh relaxer and you just look like you came from the salon now with this unit you will get a pre plug hairline and of course you will get those pre bleach knots so you're really not going to have to go in and do too much which is why i like this company i feel like they are very beginner friendly and you really don't have to put in too much work the parting space on this looks really good and natural i did end up putting just a little bit of powder um, I did not have to go in and do any tweezing. It looks nice and open. I did put some powder around the front of the hairline because of course, once I put that spray on, it did start to darken up a little bit. So I wanted to lighten it up just a little bit more so that, you know, it looks more realistic. And then I did go in with my olive oil fix it hole spray. I just put a little bit around the hairline. Not much is needed because even when I cut the lace off, you can see how well it is going to blend into your skin. Did get the job done. It is going to give you a lighter hold than the Even New York. So if you want to pop this off, me personally, I do not sleep in my wigs. They get taken off every time I'm ready to go to bed. I just do not like a bunch of hair and I don't want to have to worry about my wig sliding back in the morning. So I don't have any issue with reapplying and most of the time I am wearing my units glueless. It's six inches of parting space. So if you are not a fan of the right side, you can always switch it to the left side and you can rock this as a middle part. But I added a little bit of a bump underneath, not too much of a heavy bump. Um, so it looks really good. You can wear it more straighter, but I prefer to have a nice little bump. And yeah, this one is going to be easy to maintain. Now, because this is a yakky texture, you are going to have to make sure to condition this wig as it gets older because you want to make sure those ends don't dry out. That is the one thing I've noticed when it comes to a yakky texture. You get a little bit of shedding with this unit and I also had to go in and cut the frontal above my ear because I did not want it to overlap. I didn't have to cut too much but just enough but yes I did notice a little bit of shedding and as far as tangles go right now I'm not noticing any and of course I haven't been in this unit all day but as of right now while I'm wearing it I feel like it is good to go and the hair is really soft so this is definitely a ready to wear out the box cut your lace put a little bit of heat to it and you are going to be good to go so let me know what you think about this 12 inch look or are you feeling the shorter length or would you go longer let me know how long you like your bob to be if you are feeling this unit i am going to make sure to leave the links down below guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share and like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys